Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Hey everyone, welcome to my first NaNoWriMo video. I am excited to be participating this in the month of November. However, November is an extremely busy month. For me, I have um, internships lined up with university. I am working three jobs over the Christmas break because you go need some money. <laughs> I'm working a hospitality job, a retail job, and I also just secured a position in my field of work, writing and editing for a PR firm. So I'm very excited. I am also learning on guitar, Shallow, which is off of the movie A Star Is Born, which is just such a beautiful film. Oh my goodness, if you haven't seen it, please go see it. Bradley Cooper did such an amazing job on this. Like, that man, I am so proud. <laughs> well done. I'm on the deep end, watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. Crash through the surface where they can't hurt us. I'm far from the shallow now. The one thing I just can't get right in that damn song is the freaking finger picking pattern. It's so difficult to master. I will do it. And that's a goal by the end of the month of November to master that song and maybe even post it. I used to post music videos, music covers. Why not? NaNoWriMo has arrived. This is the first time I will be participating in NaNoWriMo. I have wanted to for over five years, but I've never actually sat down and done it because I've always had these excuses of, I'm too busy, I'm working three jobs, I have an internship. No, they're this year's excuses. My excuses last time were, to be honest, depression, anxiety, feeling like I wasn't good enough for anything and not committing to something because my procrastination just overrided my creativity and I never actually got to do anything because I procrastinated more than I created or I consumed rather than create something. So hopefully doing these videos and writing on my blog post will hold me accountable to actually write my novel. I'm very excited to join this community. I've wanted to for a long time. So um, yeah, I hope everyone, we can all connect and have a great time together. My novel agreement for the month of November goes something like this. I hand wrote it because handwriting is the best form. Um, I acknowledge that November will be a busy time, but I pledge to take the time each morning to write out my novel for one hour between 6 and 7 a.m. I acknowledge obstacles along the way, unmotivation, procrastination and self-doubt, as well as triggers such as the internet. Therefore, there will be no internet around this hour that I write my work. I will hold myself accountable and document my journey when I feel it is necessary to do so. I am excited to form a good writing habit and will not shame myself if I miss my time during the morning. Life can be busy and it is important to be flexible and adjust when needed. Join in on the community and enjoy the experience of writing alone and with others and connect to like-minded people who also enjoy writing and want to share similar goals and experiences with me. Hayley. <laughs> so I wrote this yesterday when I uh, watched one of the NaNoWriMo live streams. I will link it below. It's really good to do a couple of exercises before you get into like the groove of things. The first official day is tomorrow, which is November 1st. Today is Halloween, which we don't celebrate in Australia, but it's starting to get a little bit marketed here, which is cool. I don't have any treats for the kids. They're just going to have to have fruit. So yeah, they're just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> the book I have decided to focus on for the month of November is one I have had in my mind for about two years now. It is a mixture of personal kind of stories that I have personally been through um, and kind of sociological theory because I'm studying sociology or minoring in sociology at university so I can apply those kinds of theories and practices and put them into my creative work. I have three novel ideas and it's so difficult to focus on one because obviously I want to write all of them but for the month of November like I really really have to focus on one and just flesh out that novel and while a lot of NaNoWriMo is focused on very like creative fictional content 
mine is going to be purely kind of self-development I guess and um, more personal kind of goal setting and intentional living so the whole premise behind my novel is of course my own story and what I kind of went through but this idea of the constriction of youth and how difficult it is to actually kind of grow up in this modern kind of world I am 28 years old so I grew up in between analog and digital and I think my generation Gen Y we don't really know where we stand in that 90s kids like we remember old cartoons VHS cassette players the first video cameras way before the internet even existed we remember dial-up and telling our parents off for going on the phone when we wanted to chat on MSN so we are the bridge between the old technology and the new technology and we are we are still youth ourselves. we are still so young but we we seem so old in this context you know and I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about this topic of selfies and how you know, over 200 years ago, everything was focused on bettering yourself in a really knowledgeable and spiritual and um, inspirational way. So you would go learn piano, you would go study higher education, or you'd go study philosophy to become a better person in general. But now it's that augmentation has happened in the physical realm where people are bettering themselves by making themselves look better as a physical sense rather than an internal uh, sense everything is very external and in a world where literally there's cameras everywhere and we feel like we always have to be camera ready that kind of makes sense so I'd really like to flesh out these ideas and kind of explore them further like there's been a lot of research on this and I'm currently um, helping as a research assistant in sociology at university so I think this is the perfect time to kind of combine everything and see just where this takes me you know and just go with this book idea and then pick up the other two ideas ideas that I have um, like next year you know that I can always go to them and they are complete fiction young adult supernatural sci-fi kind of thrillers with full characters and full world building so that requires time and, and energy and research as well but for the purpose of this NaNoWriMo I think I really feel as though I should focus on this book that has been calling me for the last two years about self-development and I think I'm ready to kind of share my story as well like I feel really confident in myself this year I'm okay with putting myself on YouTube and joining this author community I'm okay with sharing Mark and I's travel adventures I'm okay with sharing my writing on Instagram and more of my writing on my blog whereas before I was very um, closed off and I didn't want to share anything because I was so insecure about myself and I guess like I didn't want to come across as unprofessional either and that was a huge thing that was holding me back is that I didn't want a potential maybe employee to find out or something which is ridiculous because um, I would say that hopefully my employee would be very very um, supportive of the fact that I want to become an author and write for a living so there's that so I've got my little like board here that I've kind of it's just a whiteboard and I've kind of just written out act one act two act three about what I want to focus on and these are more themes of the novel rather than actual chapters I think chapters will kind of form their own as I write it I've already written some I've kind of cheated and already started but it was just I felt like I should be doing that I'm going to focus it on maybe like the 18 to 25 year old kind of age bracket um, because I think that that's where the novel will fit most because I have lived through that and I haven't lived through the next stage of my life late 20s early 30s like I'm still transitioning into that time so I think that this will be a good tool to have of just like you know okay act one we're going to focus on these themes act two we're going to focus on these and act three we're going to focus on this and the final conclusion um I am I come from an acting background and a theater background so doing it in this way just makes kind of sense to me but I was talking to a girl on Instagram um, 
who lives close by and she actually puts all her chapters and everything in uh, sticky notes so she will have sticky notes on the wall or on her board and she can rearrange them as like her story starts to change or as the characters kind of start to take over because sometimes that can happen where you are writing something and suddenly your character is just taken over the story and you're, you're, you're trying to rein in your character and you're like oh my god where is this character is just letting loose in my novel um, so you, it's good to kind of have a structure but at the same time, um, I do prefer writing with as little structure as possible. It's good to have, I guess, a skeleton like I kind of do in the relevant themes, but I do, there's only so much planning and background work you can do before you actually just have to dive in and write your novel. So if you're a fellow, if you're a fellow writer or even a passionate reader, I know a lot of people have come from my Witcher videos, then please um, let, let's connect online and um, we can talk about um, what we're writing for NaNoWriMo. Um, I have a little couple of people that I'm chatting with on Instagram at the moment um, and a couple of people obviously on YouTube because there's like the messenger thing that you can do now. So it's good um, to get those conversations going and we can support each other and you know ask what each other was doing. I do have a NaNoWriMo profile as well. I don't have any buddies on there so if you would like to be a buddy and we'll like join a little group and we'll encourage each other and check in with each other and make sure we're, you know, achieving our goals because November is going to be super hectic for me and I would say it would be super hectic for um, some of you as well. So it would be good to get that kind of extra encouragement. Anyway, I just wanted to post a little update on the start of like, I guess, Preptober and my last day um, doing prep and I will be vlogging. Um, what I'm doing and hopefully you, you guys will find it interesting and it maybe will help someone else like feel like yeah I can write a novel too because you can and you should be writing it for yourself you shouldn't be writing it for someone else and you shouldn't be writing it to be published you know you, when you're first starting like I am you really just need to let go of all those expectations and just let the pieces um, fall <laughs> where they lie is that what it says lay where they fall and just make sense of it you know it's all about learning and failing and succeeding all in the same thread and the same path so yeah that's all from me thank you for watching bye